Welcome to Mo Does DIYs. I'm so happy that you stopped by today. Make sure you subscribe and press all on the notification bell. That way you never miss a video. All right, so today's video is gonna be Pottery Barn inspired dupes in a farmhouse style. So pretty much Pottery Barn inspired farmhouse Dollar Tree DIY decor. <laughs> all right, on that note, let's get started. On Pottery Barn's website, you can see that their lanterns range anywhere between $40 to $200, which isn't a horrible price. But if you're on a tight budget, then I can show you how to recreate some for around $6. See, like this one. The large one is $175. What? <laughs> and these are $40 to $50. No, I can do them for one. And then these little trays are beautiful, but $70 to $100 is really, really outrageous for these times. So let's recreate some from the Dollar Tree. Using a Dollar Tree pizza tray and some Jenga blocks. And then I also used my Krylon Black Chalkboard Spray Paint. Gave them two really good coats and let it dry and I was ready to move on. I took five of the black Jenga pieces and I hot glued them together, How, however way I thought it would look best. And so I did three on the bottom and then two on the side so that it would give the appearance of a handle. And then I just did it twice to see make two handles. Then I just hot glued my handles both on top of the tray. And then I took my four black little cubes that were also spray painted in black and I just hot glued them on the bottom. So this is what it looks like when it's all done. I ended up giving it one more coat of spray paint just because I had some streaky issues. And I also wanna share, you can find one of these end tables for only $20 at the store called At Home. I will link it in the description below. And so yeah, this is really, really cute and way better than $70. So I wanna share this idea because this was on that tray real fast. You can find these cute little wooden cubes. I found mine at Myers, and they were only like $2.99 or $1.99. I'm not quite sure. And so I wanted to use my rub-on transfers. I ended up cutting out the words cherish family and friends forever and then I just attached it on and so as you can see it's so easy to use these rub on transfers you don't even need a credit card you could just use your finger your fingernail and they just go right on like this it's so simple watch this oh my gosh look how easy this is I can't even deal I love it this is like the best thing that the Dollar Tree has ever come out with in my opinion I love it so this one was done. I also did the word home on the other one. And then I decided to add some flowers onto my home because he was a little bit plain. And isn't that sharp? I am pretty obsessed. $20 for the end table. Only a couple dollars for the little wood piece. $1 for the rub-on transfers. What a deal. All right, let's move on. All right, so to make these lanterns, to make this dupe, I used eight of the plunger handles using from the Dollar Tree. And then I took four of these little pictures from the Dollar Tree. These are brand new and they have no sparkles, no glitter, no bumps on them. They're perfect. And so I just painted them all in my white cottage chalk paint. For this DIY, I made sure to get every little nook and cranny. I also made sure I did two or three coats on some pieces because you don't want it to look streaky. And so it definitely took a little bit of time, but I don't mind that because I'm saving a few hundred dollars. And so I was ready. Once it was completely dry, I, all I did was hot glue it together. Then I hot glued my four plunger sticks into the base and then I hot glued the top on the top base part made sure I was holding it in place and sturdy before I let go. It was actually very easy. And then you can find these at Michael's Craft Store for around 50 cents. I had just painted it in white. It just comes in a light wood color. It's like a little tray. And then this is a top from an old candle that I just wasn't liking anymore, but I love the top. And so I decided to use this because I feel like the combination of these colors is beautiful. The white with the light wood look. And so I also had this really old like bead thing that used to go around a candle holder jar. And so I decided I'm not using it. It's just sitting in storage. So I chopped it up and I used that for my little handles. And so this one was done and I love sharing this idea that if you have some old decor, just kind of use it, you know, like craft my stash, you know, use stuff from your stash that you're, you know, not using anymore and repurpose it. And so this was one of those things from Hearth and Hand from Mongolia and I decided to use this for the top of my second one. 
I just love using tons of items from my craft stash and so this looks perfect. I had put a little white circular object that I had found from the Dollar Tree months ago and it was just laying around in my crafter's closet and so I decided to finally use that on top. And then I used a little piece of white nautical rope and I hot glued that on the top to give this one a finished look like a handle and these were done. All right, don't go nowhere because I got one more DIY for you, but I just want to show you how good it looks on this little table in this little area in my back living room. I'm really loving the vibe these give off in my back living room, but what I love most is that they only cost me $6 to make each, which is incredible. All right, for this Weston frame knockoff kind of a dupe, I had this old frame that I wasn't in love with, and so I decided to just paint it black with my Krylon Black Chalkboard Spray Paint. So I gave it two really good coats and I also used an old bracelet that I wasn't fond of anymore and I was okay with ruining. So I also had spray painted that black as well. Then I decided to take a little tape measure and kind of measure where my exact center is so I would know where to start hot gluing everything on the top. Then I just hot glued it together and that was it. Pretty easy, really simple, and but really effective. Now you could also use some command hooks and spray paint those black as well. That's another idea you could use, but I just wanted to use what I had on hand. So I was just showing you, this was that bracelet. It's actually from the Bahamas, but I have a lot of these, so I was okay with ruining one of them. Because, you know, when times are hard, you gotta come up with whatever you can come up with. And so this is what it looks like all done and is so sharp. Instead of 40 or $50, I can make this for pennies. I love the whole vibe that this gives off in my living room now. And I've always been a fan of mixing some high-end decor, you know, like that picture above the couch is a couple hundred dollars. My pillows were, you know, $30, $40 each. But I love mixing Dollar Tree DIYs with it and it just gives it a really high-end look. And because I save so much money in some areas, that enables me to be able to buy the things like the pillows and the picture, you know what I mean? So I just love saving money any way I can and giving my house a high-end home, you know, farmhouse look. So if you enjoy this video, make sure you smash that like button. It lets me know that you like my video and I'll do more like these. And also make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell and tap all that way you never miss a video. And I would just would like to say thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate you guys and yeah, I will see you guys on the next one. Have a great day. Don't you know?